Another day, another death-defying, daredevil leap, and always the same big question, do I have the guts? Now over to Madison Marple's Macintosh for a live update. Ten seconds and counting, Madison. Uh, I, uh, the, mm, I, uh, Madison, if I could... <sighs> another day, another death-defying daredevil leap, and a face-first wipeout in front of everyone. Could it get any worse? I had to ask. Oh, great. I'm sitting with the class geek, but whatever. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Madison Marple's Macintosh, to be exact. Mew, 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 pew, pew. <laughs> Prepare for imminent destruction. Pew, pew, pew. Leet, the wonder nerd. And this is lunchtime at my school on what has so far been the most humiliating day of my life. Ah. Madison! Hey, watch it! Time to hit the pause button, my friend. Oh, hi, hi, Saf. This is Saffron. We've been BFFs since preschool. That's best friends forever. She's 13, almost a whole year older than me, and thinks she's so mature. She has that effect on guys. I don't think anyone noticed. Saf, everyone noticed. I choked live on camera. Oh, that. Yeah, no one noticed that. Hey, Maddie. Where's the tutorial? Burble, burble, burble. <laughs> Samuel Stinky Parker, Saffron's twin brother and the bane of Saffron's, no, everyone's existence. Sometimes I wonder how they could even be related. Ugh, you're so lame, Stinky. Anyways, as I was saying, I don't think anyone noticed anything different about me. Like that you've learned to play a mean air piano? <laughs> no, silly. I've got my first manicure. Maybe next time I'll hold the microphone higher. That way, people will definitely notice them. What do you think? I think if that's all it takes to divert focus from one's on-camera performance, get me to the manicurist. <laughs> it's all right for you. You're a natural in front of the camera. That's true, but it's also about forgetting the cameras there. I like to think I'm talking to a close friend and not the viewing public that way. That way, I don't feel nervous. <gasps> Ace! Okay. The school dreamboat is waving to me. Me? If only I had something intelligent to say to him. Ace? He doesn't even know I'm alive. Hey, man. Stripes are the What's new up, man? Life. How you doing? Yo! Very now. And that's the secret to being a superstar in front of the camera. Since when does your brother hang out with Ace? <sighs> Since they decided to start a band. But they haven't even come up with a name yet. Stinky's boys. Stinky's crew. Stinky and the sidekicks. Stinky and the stinkets. Hey, I've got one. 
How about stink bomb? How about verbal, verbal, verbal? <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like my face first wipeout is not going to be forgotten anytime soon. Behold! The beauty of light! This is our other BFF, Rainbow. Totally beautiful and totally late. She's smart, but not that great at managing herself in this dimension, if you know what I mean. Hmm. A sudden sense of something ominous. We missed you in media studies this morning, Rainbow. Oh, Miss Dickinson! Whoa! I was just thinking about you. I'm really sorry. You see, I... Lost track of time? Rainbow, you really need to get on top of this. Uncanny! I was just thinking the same thing. Madison, can I see you, please? Suddenly, I also sense something ominous. I read your editorial, Maddie. Very insightful. But your on-camera performance... I tried, Miss Dickinson, honest, but I see that camera and my brain seizes up. Some people just aren't cut out for the spotlight, Maddie, and that's okay. There are other ways of expressing yourself. Are you gonna flunk me because... Not at all. You see, we've had a number of students writing to the school website asking for advice. I think you'd be perfect as an anonymous advice blogger. Me? I don't know. Wait! I'm not ready! I can't do it! I figure you could earn your media studies grade by doing a blog. If you do, there'll be no more on-camera work. No more on-camera work? Fire away! Whee! So, looks like I'm now an advice blogger. Hello, my little hairless beauty. And this is Amelia Earhart. She's just about the best thing in my life. Yeah, she's bald, but that's the kind of dog she is. And whatever you do, don't mention her pudgy tummy. Okay, let's get problem solving. Please help. I always wear hats because I think my ears are too big. I really like this girl, and I think she'll reject me once I reveal them. What should I do? See attached picture, signed elephant ears. Whoa! Dear elephant ears, yes, your ears are way too big. No, no, too harsh. Hmm. Your ears are a gift from the universe. Nah, too flaky. Your ears are what makes you special? Yuck, I sound like my mother. Dear Elephant Ears, I have absolutely no idea how I can possibly help you. Signed, Total Loser. Dad! Mac Macintosh, my dad. Always out on assignment in some remote part of the world. Mac Macintosh reporting live from inside an active volcano. From the middle of the shifting sands. From the land of the midnight sun. Hey, Mad! Nice cheetah suit, Dad. You like it? Traditional dress of a lost tribe of E-Kitty. I'm waiting to do an interview with the chief. I'm so glad you called. I have to do this advice blog thing for school, and I just don't know what to uh, advise. You've got to help me. Sure. If to help, but the what? Dad? Dad? Oh, great. Was that your father? Meet my mother. She's also a journalist. My family's full of them. She's on TV almost every night as the host of Celebrity TV. This is Mandy Marple's Macintosh coming to you live inside the lives of the rich and famous, awaiting the arrival of our latest heartthrob. It might sound cool having famous parents, but you should try living with it 24-7. These earrings, too much? I think everyone's too concerned about how they look to even notice your earrings. You know, you're right. Gotta run. Love ya! Hang on! That's it! Dear Elephant Ears. 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 Hey! Ugh, Leet, don't do that! Have you been on the school's website today? Yes. I mean, no, well, uh, maybe. Why? Because there's an interloper in our midst. An interloper? Uh-huh. Some blogger giving away free advice. Very bad advice. B b b b bad advice? But don't worry, I'm on the case. 
I'm going to find out who it is and shut them down. They'll wish they never messed with the Leap Meister. Throw away your hat. There's no need to feel self-conscious about your ears. I bet you'll find that people are too worried about their own appearance to even notice. Be confident and you'll get your girl. Major lame -oitis. What was I thinking? What if I ruined his life? Oh no, poor elephant ears. Wait, poor me. People will know it was me. I'll be a laughing stock. Saffron and Rainbow, they'll know what to do. They can't know. I have to lie to my best friends? <sighs> Why did I say yes to this? Well, I think her advice is totally cool. Yeah, Leet. She totally gets it. It's like she's one of us. Maybe she is. Maybe we have a phantom advice blogger in our midst. What's up? Leet thinks the advice blogger is one of us. Really? I mean, really? Who do you think it might be, Matt? Oh, um, it's... It's probably just one of the teachers. Nah, this advice is way too connected to be one of the teachers. You think? Yeah, and she doesn't sound like a teacher. She sounds cool. Yeah, she does sound cool, doesn't she? I don't know what I was so worried about. This advice thing is gonna be a walk in the park. What about Stinky and the Pheromones? Man, don't you have any names that don't stink? Yeah, how about something without your name in it? I don't see you coming up with any names. Did too. Did not. Somehow, I think the band might have more problems than just finding a name. Who cares? Just get this done so I can get in front of the camera where I belong. Ooh, catch. Ah, uh, Rainbow! My nail. My beautiful manicured nail. Oh, it'll grow back. It won't grow back manicured. Come on, it's not that important. I mean, 98% of the world's population has never had a manicure and never will. So, you know. So what are you saying? Are you saying I'm shallow? Huh, yeah, um, I guess I am. <gasps> well, that's great, coming from such a, such an airhead. Thinking calm thoughts. Thinking calm thoughts. Okay, maybe we should all just calm down and... Oh, it's too late for calming down. Tell her I never want to speak to her again. Ugh. And tell her I never want to speak to her again. <sighs> hey, what happened to BFFs? Rainbow? What's going on? I don't know. It's like ever since Saffron said I was an airhead, I've lost all ability to ground myself. My ability to function in this time-space continuum is disappearing. Well, you better get it back for Miss Dickinson's class or you're gonna be disappearing right out of this school. Just hang on to me and don't let go. Sorry to interrupt your little friend fest. I can't believe you, Maddie. Here you are giving Rainbow all your support while I'm left out in the cold. I can't believe you've taken her side. I'm not taking sides. Rainbow's, uh, she's... I'm discombobulating, and it's all because of you. Rainbow, come on, there's no need. Saf, it's not how it looks. You know, I thought in a situation like this, I could count on you to stand by me. Obviously, I was wrong. Saf, wait. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to write to that advice blog. I bet she'll be on my side. I don't think that's such a good idea. Well, I'm gonna write to her too. And I bet she'll be on my side. Come on now. You don't need a silly advice columnist to sort this out. Yes, we do. Uh, Maddie? Wow, you're right. They're huge. Uh, yeah. That's why I told him I wasn't going out with him. Not with those ears. Oh, no. Ow, watch it! I'm as close as nucleons in an atom to hacking into the school site. What? Why? Uh, Maddie? Come back! 
I'm going to uncover the secret identity of this advice blogger and expose her to the entire school populace. Why? What's it to you? There's a traitor among us. All our secret business will be exposed, and soon, wham, the traitor's jaw will clamp down on us all until there's nothing left. in the park I was expecting. Now I've got to make sure Lee can expose eight messages. I like this guy who doesn't know I exist. My mother dresses me like a five-year-old. I need a life makeover. Ugh. Thanks for nothing, signed elephant ears. Ugh, this is just great. One from hanging by my nails and one from floating in the clouds? Okay, I am officially resigning. There's nothing you can say that can stop me. Put me in front of the camera and let me blah, 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 blah. I don't care if I fail. It can't be worse than the stress of having to deal with other people's problems. But Madison. I'm sorry, Miss Dickinson. I guess I'm not good at expressing myself this way either. I've got to go to a garden party. What do you think of the hat? Too much? It's... It's great! You look... You look terrific! You're lying. I can tell. Well, giving people my honest opinion doesn't seem to help. That's the funny thing about an honest opinion. People don't always want to hear it. I know I don't. But with you, I know you're going to give me an honest opinion, and I've come to rely on you for that. You have? And you trust my opinion? My honest opinion? Absolutely! Note to self, I can do this! Wahoo! So, the hat? Lose it. Dear Elephant Ears, Giving advice is a tricky business. Not everyone wants to hear the truth. Yeah, she answered my letter and she was very understanding. I still can't seem to hack into the school's website. No problem. Nothing can stop the lead exterminator. <laughs> they won't know what hit them. Leet? We don't care. We're trying to come up with a band name here. If she really is the one for you, she'll accept you and your ears. Stay confident, Elephant Ears. You did the right thing. Madison, listen to this. Dear Hanging By My Nails, there's nothing wrong with wanting nice nails. You find them beautiful, and beauty must be appreciated. But is it worth losing a friend over a broken nail? I think I'd rather lose the nail. She's so totally right. Well, she told me the universe wants me to focus on this space-time dimension. Because that's where my real friends are. And you know what? She's right! Really? That's amazing. So, are we good? We're, We're good. good. Hey, watch the nails! <laughs> <laughs> so I noticed you were doing some blogging last night. Yeah, I... No need to explain. Good work. You know, I was thinking. I probably need to have a name for security reasons. So you want to stay on? I mean, it's not too much work. No, I, I can do this. I can. I just think a name would be good. And it might help to express what I do more eloquently than advice blogger. Good idea. Now if I can just crack through this brain kernel, Oh, come on! I was right there, and now she's got a new name. A pseudonym. Hmm. She's a tricky one. How exciting! What can I do now? I've tried everything, even my Nexus Turbo Identity Detector. Good. Leave it that way. No one outsmarts the Leap Meister. I will make it my duty to bring her down. Down to Leap Town. <laughs> <laughs> so what's her name? Miscommunication. <laughs> Even our pseudonym is completely lame. I love it. Works on so many levels. 
She's so cool. Who's cool? Miss Communication. Oh, her? Yeah, she's okay. Stinky and the S Benz? I'm not gonna be in a band called Stinky and the S Benz. Totally uncool. Hey guys, you're on Miss Communication's blog. Check it out. And finally, to Ace Stinky Mitch and Barry. Whatever band name you guys decide on, you're sure to send temperatures soaring as soon as you hit the stage. Forget about applause meters. All you're gonna need is a fever meter. Fever meter. Fever meter? Fever meter? That's it! Our band is officially called Fever Meter. Oh, man, that's right. great! Fever All meter. right, man, oh, that rocks! Miss Communication great name, rocks. man! Another day, another death-defying daredevil leap. Sometimes you take a face-first wipeout in front of everyone. Sometimes you don't. Guess you never know until you try. She's getting really good at those big hurdles. Oh, that's right. Gotta go. Miss Communication.